from Manila, I fly to Kyushu, Japan's third largest island. I land at the airport in Kagoshima Prefecture and was happy to be welcomed by fellow AOPA member Sakashita-san. It has been a long time since I was in Kagoshima and it felt great to be able to catch up with old friends. After a filling lunch of traditional Japanese curry popular in the region, we were back at the airport in Kagoshima. It was great to see the hangar's facilities continuously improving with newer aircraft to fly. Sakashita san's airplane was undergoing annual inspection, but he introduced me to Motomoru san, who was happy to take me up on a flight to see the sights around the area. With a trusty Cessna 172, we plan to fly over some active volcanoes in the area. Before going into the sites on the road, we thought we'd fly over it and get a preview of what we can see. I'm lucky, Motomura san, very experienced guy, former airline pilot will be joining us. Takeoff was quick, even in an international airport. This area not being as busy as the big cities. Even if it was cloudy, we were lucky the ceiling was high. It gave us a great view of the thick forests, as well as patches of agricultural land. In no time at all, we see the peaks of Kirishima. It is actually a cluster of some 20 active volcanoes. Let's hope none of them decide to erupt this very moment. The mythology of Shintoism, Japan's biggest religion, is said to have originated here, with the goddess Amaterasu asking her grandson Ninigi to come down to earth from this mountain to be the ancestor of the Japanese imperial family. From here, we flew back south to the coast of Kagoshima Bay. Mount Sakurajima, another active volcano, stands over the water. After a violent eruption in 1914, lava flow created a bridge that connected it to the island of Kagoshima. Flying on a small airplane really makes you feel you can see and touch everything around you. After the short sightseeing, it was time to go back. We were given a short approach and we landed in no time at all. I have never been up close with such a number of active volcanoes in such a short period of time. <laughs>